What's up, everybody? Thanks for stopping by Capsule to Cone. I'm Matt McQueen. And today we got something special for you. It's my good friend, Nate Washburn, here in the studio. We're hanging out, jamming on some amps this weekend. And behind us, we have these two lovely beauties. We've got a Synergy, what is the model is? It's a Synergy... Uh, a Sin 30. Sin 30. So that's not a... sin like the like a bad deed, but like a <laughs> S Y N. Okay, yeah. <laughs> the sin thirty. Yeah. So this is a three channel head, right? Yeah. So, and we're, yes. we've also got this Friedman B E one hundred. Yeah, y'all know what that is, I guess. They've seen. Yeah, if they've been about this channel before, they've right. seen it a time or two. Mm -hmm. Curtis and I like to use it. So, we're uh, we're duking it out. We're comparing them because you've got a couple of modules, and one of them is. Like a BE module, right? Yeah. Synergy makes modular amp tube amps, right? Mm-hmm. And you could you know more about the history of these because you were giving me a little miniature lecture yeah. when I called you about this. <laughs> yes. Um, but yeah, so these are relatively new, like a couple years old, you yes. know, since this company has existed. Basically, uh, what this head is, is a 30 watt power amp section and it features a one clean preamp section okay. that I've found to be kind of voxy, but maybe a little bit more uh, body than a vox. Breaks up okay. like a vox. When I turn it up, it has the vox kind of compression sparkly breakup thing. I really yeah, like we it. Did. We dimed it earlier. It sounds awesome. Sounds great. Yeah. Then the modular section is whatever you want it to be. They have a bunch of different modules. They have Okay. Sort of uh, their their own approximations of a Dumble, um, uh, eight hundred, a Plexi, uh, you know, basically a Twin, a Deluxe, a Basement, whatever. They've okay. got all those that Synergy makes. Then they've collaborated with different amp makers, Friedman being the one that we have in here right now that we're going to talk about. They also have a Fryet uh, module. Um, it's like a. Is it the Pitbull? It's the Fry Fryat Pit Pitbull or Ultra Lead. Okay. I why does it have two names? Let me know. Doesn't make sense. <laughs> Two's always better than one. It's the Pitch Pitbull, but then some yeah. people call it the Ultra Lead. I don't know. It's high gain amp. Um, they have uh, Ingle. They have uh, Diesel. They have okay. uh, Bogner. Those are all the boutique like high gain stuff. Okay. But then they have. Um, uh, a couple, like they have a Morgan, Morgan AC yeah, series. Yeah, it's on their website, yeah. yeah. So they have, a, they have a lot of different things, and basically they've sort of designed it to be uh, collaborative in the sense that Friedman designed this. This is toted as essentially the exact preamp that goes into a BE, BE amp, Okay. right? And so- Spoilers, it sounds pretty- Yeah, pretty it, it, we got it to sound super close. Yeah. So I don't have a Fryat or a VHT amp, so I can't tell you how close it sounds, but John yeah. Fryat, was been super instrumental in designing like a lot of the, you know, he designs basically the power amps that okay. they sell separately, the, uh, the Synergy company sells. Um, so yeah, it's really interesting. Like just an idea that I started to see on, you know, following up with some bands that I was interested in. And I mean, I, I'll be a slightly candid cause I can't talk about the project I'm working on, but there's a project where I need a high gain amp mm -hmm. and I'm doing more of a, a metal style, progressive metal style like production. I don't own anything like that. Yeah. So my quest was like, well, what can I afford? What can I, you know, I don't want to start collecting, you know, diesels and ingles and, you know, yeah. Framus dragons and all these amps that yeah. I'm not interested in, aside from I have a project coming up that really does need something like that. Well, why don't you just get a camper? Oh, uh, because <laughs> I have never good. thought they sounded good. But <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah. I had, yeah. <laughs> I can't. I, don't, I couldn't even roll with your joke on that. I just don't think, I'm I just sorry. don't think they sound good. Uh, anyways, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> this is a tube amp. Yeah. Very easy to swap. Apparently, they're hot swappable, but I'm. Who cares? I'll just put it on standby. It doesn't matter to me. Yeah. Um. So yeah. So my dilemma was: How do I have access to amps I can't afford for a project where yeah I don't want to necessarily invest a bunch of money sure. in stuff and then you know have to sell it I don't really like selling stuff it's just like a chore to me mm -hmm. and so yeah I just was like okay what are my options so I started watching rig rundowns specifically I watched Opeth and they were using Synergy System Live and they were like sounded awesome they were like really excited about it yeah you know it it was like a, a no compromise type solution so i was like well let's try it mm -hmm. and i've so spent the last week 
in writing and rehearsals with my band at my epic mm -hmm. and we use this and this has a cab simulator out so i can throw this on silent and have the instead of it going to a cab it just goes out to my computer mm -hmm. and that makes demoing so easy like the feeling of pl of plugging your pedal board into an amp to just do a demo how's the like, cab sim sound um it sounds I don't use them a lot, but it sounded totally fine. Like it sounded better than any yeah. amp sim I could pull up on my, you know, like any like a uh, default preset I had on an amp sim, you know. Gotcha. So I've worked pretty hard to make some amp sims work in the past, but this was not work. It was just like went into the computer, sounded awesome. Um, oh, that's good. It was like immediate. Like as as uh, musicians, we stopped thinking about like what the computer was doing, and mm -hmm. wasn't running any plugins and Pro Tools or anything. It was just like, okay, how do we do this? You know, play the part. Yeah. You know, get the sound you want. Just dial in your pedals, put it in the computer, demo done, you know? Mm -hmm. And it was like, to me, that's worth the price of admission. I hate making demos and stuff without, you know, it's either you set up, a, you know, a system, mm -hmm. you know, a Pro Tools rig with a bunch of mics and you actually pre-pro everything, or you put your phone in the middle of the room and make a voice recording. Oh, yeah. And it's like, what's where's the middle ground where we can spend an hour or two on a demo yeah. And get something that we're happy with that we can listen to versus spending four hours on a demo. You know, it's right. like finding that balance. So yeah. to me, this is a huge, like, solution for that. Um, and I was super happy. And everything was sounding coming back to me like yeah. a, a real tube amp. And what I've heard, and I you'd have to do a little research, is finding information about this has been a little tough. There's not a ton out there. But what I've heard is that the cab sim out is the same one that, Friedman uses on their smaller amps. Oh, okay. And you even remarked that this yeah. looks like it's made in the same factory, which is like... Yeah, the build the build quality of these things is phenomenal. Like, looking at it just compared to just, I mean, just the fit and finish of it. <clears throat> and, you know, I have nothing to base this off of except for what my eyes are telling me. But the fit and finish of both of these amps looks, I mean, basically the same. They look, they look really, really good. And uh, I think that... You know, I don't know. I mean, I know that the Friedmans are like a, you know, there's there's handmade ones, I think, and then there's other ones that aren't, and so I don't I don't really know. I don't I don't get into all that stuff, but I was thinking that they all are like there's like a big factory or something. I watched a YouTube video about it. There's a big factory where like the Morgan stuff and the Wampler pedals and the mm -hmm. Friedman amps and and I think these are all made there. So yeah, I think, I think it's they a all very the collaborative. Same. Like the synergy thing, yeah, seems very collaborative as far as like all these amp designers. Yeah. are like invested in the company, um, which is, that's super interesting to me. Yeah, they're not doing the like cheeky thing that all the like modeling companies like have done. winking at the name of it or whatever. Yeah, where it says yeah. like Friedman, but they spell it with two yeah, E's or right, something like right, that. Right. Yeah. It's not that exactly. <laughs> it's not that. No, it has his logo on it, you know. Yeah, uh, so I think it, uh, I think it sounds great. So let's do, um, we want to hear this. a couple sounds. Yeah, let's hear a couple sounds. We've got the Friedman BE-100 and the Synergy Sin 30, and we have recorded both of them. We're using an Ampeg V4 cab that uh, has a Creamback speaker in it. I've got a 57 on it and a Royer 101. So that's how we are capturing the signal. It's going through these seventh circle preamps that I use for basically every guitar video that we shoot on this channel. And uh, we're gonna, we've, we've already recorded it and we're gonna just play it back. We have every knob on the BE and the Sin 30 set at noon, mm -hmm. right? So we're gonna listen to it and then we're gonna talk about it. Let's do it, just one more, man. It's just so, it's. There's enough differences, but it's so similar, I think we should hear it once yeah. more. I'm gonna say a couple of things, and then I'm gonna let you talk about it, uh, too. So, Thank first you. of all, <laughs> First of all, I feel like that the Friedman is just a little bit more like what I'm hearing is it's just like it feels like the low end is just a little bit more mm -hmm. muscly. And I think uh, not that either one of them is bad or that the synergy is really lacking. You could probably make up for that in 
a little tiny bass adjustment on the right. Synergy. Well, everything's at noon right now. Yeah, everything's at noon. So uh, you definitely have wiggle room on on both amps. Um, and I think uh, probably what's contributing to that is that we're talking about you know this is a 100 watt amp, bigger iron maybe. Um, sometimes I think is a factor. I, I think most people say bigger iron gets a little little bit more headroom and stuff like that. I don't think that's exactly what we're talking about here, but I feel like that some of that probably has to be the bigger transformers and also 100 watts of tubes, different kind of tubes. This is the L34s, the Synergy's L84s, right? Or is it I believe 34s? the Synergy, the power amp is a 6L6. Oh, it's 6L6s. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, I didn't even know. I didn't look yeah. before we started talking about it, but um, I think... Uh, I think that may be some of the differences um, that we're hearing. It's just a bigger amp. It's a lot more watts, so it's not going to sound. I'll say this: I bet those are some of the differences we hear. You think they're? You think you would bet that? I, I'm just saying those are differences. I bet we're hearing them. <laughs> Something around that. I love that. Yeah, I bet we hear them. So what do you think? What What are you hearing? Um, I think they both sound good. Uh, I um, the Friedman is more scooped, kind of by default. I would say. Yeah. There's more bottom end and there's more top end. It doesn't sound like, it's funny because like I don't hear it and go like, oh yeah, it's a super scoop sound. It's just more scooped than what the Synergy is putting out right all at the mm -hmm. middle. Um, there's, yeah, there's definitely a, like a little different mid-range thing going on. Yeah. The Friedman has like kind of what you're getting at. There's more sparkly top end kind of thing, mm -hmm. which maybe we could dial in with more presence on the Synergy. Be interesting to just hear. Um, yeah, again, both amps are noon, so it's like there's plenty. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I just I feel like we really need to stress that because I don't I don't want people to watch this and be like, oh, the Friedman has more of this and more of this, or it's got this thing or that thing. That that's what the amp knobs at noon on both amps. There's a lot of yeah, and both sure. of these have great sounding EQs that have a lot of. I mean, you start turning on the knobs, you get mm -hmm. a lot of tonal variation out of either yeah. of these amps. So, but yeah, my first instinct is that. There's a tightness to the like upper mid range on the Friedman and the low low mids. Mm -hmm. Like those two places on the the Friedman sounds really good and super. Uh, I was saying too, like when I play a big chord that's got all six strings strangling, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> it's super clear and saturated and, and sounds really good. Mm -hmm. And I felt like the the synergy wasn't saturating as much and as clear. And part of that's like maybe it just needs more trouble or whatever. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean they 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 sound uh, pretty similar, um, and yeah, there's those couple things in the in the 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 like you said the low end is just a lot different and, mm -hmm. and like it's like almost like just the synergy's moved a little bump that's in the low end up up a little further, or something like that. Yeah. You know. Cool. Um, but dude, I think what we should do, um, is we're talking about going to the power amp, like to using the Friedman power amp. In a second, but I think before we do that, let's just turn some of these knobs and see and run it back. It sounds pretty close. Yeah, we're getting really close. <laughs> so it sounds pretty close. Yeah, so I guess what we'll do in the next little segment is we'll uh, get these even closer matched by plugging the SYN30 into the power amp of the Friedman. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at both of these amplifiers, and we've tried to get the Synergy to sound as close as we can to the Friedman by running, essentially running this amplifier out into the Friedman's power amp, which we felt like as we were going through it, it gives us a little bit more of the low end that the Friedman has that it didn't seem like that the Synergy had when we were just setting the knobs all at noon, mm -hmm. right? And so Synergy makes uh, a desktop unit, like a one rack unit, that's really designed to do what we're trying to approximate here. Mm -hmm. And uh, we don't have that, we just have the head version right now. So we're trying to you know, find a way to showcase one of the features that they have, which is basically, hey, take your amp that you love, take that power amp section, run a different preamp, add channels to your existing amp. So while this makes sense for me for what I need to do with it, the desktop unit makes sense for a lot of people who already have oh, great yeah. amps and want to like just add options. So this is kind of our way of like going, can we make this Friedman preamp sound as close to the 
be like preamp and sound as possible. I feel like we got it pretty close. Well, I think you know just based on the the scenario that we've set up here, I I would be interested in getting the little desktop unit and then running it into. I could run it into the the Friedman's power amp if mm -hmm. I wanted to. I could run it into the the fifty one fifty if I wanted six L sixes and you know have a bunch of different sounds and not ever have to have the amp but could still get different right different preamps and different sounds. So I think it's a I think it's a really good sounding setup. So this is what. Let's see, we'll just cycle through here. I think they sound really, really close. There's still obviously some small differences, but I think I think we did a pretty good job. The knobs aren't set exactly the same. What are you hearing? difference-wise and where we've got it right now? Um, I, I still feel like there's something so cohesive about the Friedman, you know, the the this one, the amp, the full amp. Mm -hmm. uh, it just sounds like it's built to do the thing it does, right? <laughs> it, it just does. all sounds glued together. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know that this is a replacement for it. I, I think it's a, you know, for me, it's a great option. I don't want to have to buy one of those. Yeah. You know, um, they're, they're spendy. <clears throat> so, but, but yeah, I mean, there's definitely something like I think there's a, a tightness and punch that happens in like kind of throughout the mid range that we're, tr we're we've gotten really close to it. Yeah. But it's the thing that I was chasing the whole time as I'm twisting knobs. I feel like we added we added a lot of brightness to it. Um, mm -hmm. And that could be a, a bunch of different things. Maybe if we had the like the little one that, that was more direct, like just basically the preamp out into yeah. the Friedman, maybe that we'd find that we didn't, that would be more one-to-one. -one. Yeah. Um, but yeah, there was just like a really nice, like sort of tight, bright, like, you know, like I, I, just, I just keep going back to cohesive. It just sounds, yeah. it just sounds like a whole cohesive sound, which is a great, buy that amp. If you got all the shekels, go for it. <laughs> uh, I, I did feel like, you know, the more that you twisted knobs when we tried to get it, I felt like we just kept getting closer, but we never were. I just felt like we also were just, you know, we did six or seven little trials here to try to get it as close as possible. I felt like, uh, yeah, we just never quite nailed it. You know, it was just, it was always like just a little bit further. You'd, we'd tweak one thing and it would change. I there think were times where I liked the synergy, what we had on there better. So yeah. it, wasn't, it wasn't necessarily a better or worse, but it was like the thing we got just from, Basically everything oh, on, yeah. on the Friedman, and I was like, "Oh, let's try to match it." And sometimes, I was like, well, I would dial it in how I dial it in on the Synergy, like yeah. with a little bit more mid range and less scooped. Um, and like, yeah, so there's definitely like with any amp, I could say that, right? Like, I could get a hundred dollar amp and find things that I like from that over the Friedman. It's not no amp does everything that I've found. No. Um, so the you know to a degree, there's like sort of a give and take. But yeah, for for the task of us matching the sound i think we got really close mm -hmm. and i'm like super excited because like i said no, this is mine and i can use it and pretty much be like you know within five percent of what yeah. i want from it um and i'm a happy camper so it's i think it's a really cool thing um it's not exactly the same yeah there you go and it doesn't have to be i don't think that no. uh Anybody that's watching this, if you're trying to decide, should I get a Synergy? Should I get a should I get a full on Friedman? I mean, I think that you really have to just try to think about what you're what you're going for and what you're going to do with the amp and where you're going to take it and stuff like that. There aren't really many situations that I think most people are going to run into where a hundred watt head is you know exactly what is the exact thing that you need to buy. There's probably a bunch of guys that would really benefit from from this that are playing in small clubs or even trying to record stuff with their band. And, you know, mm -hmm. uh, at the beginning of this video, we talked about your situation and how you're using it. And so I yeah. think that uh, I think that it sounds great. That's what you should take away from this is that they both sound great. If you if the, if a BE100 is what you need for your studio or for your band or for whatever you're doing, then that's probably what you should get. But yeah. Nate identified what his needs were and the synergy met those needs. And it sounds fantastic, too. And it's a real amp. Yeah, and well, it sounds like it too. There's no like, yeah. oh, that doesn't really sound like, you know, it's, like I said, I, I could totally dial it in to sound better than the Friedman right now. Yeah. Um, if I wanted to, but right now we're just trying to match them, so. Yeah, so, so there you have it. There's the, 
there's the comparison of both of them trying to get them to sound exactly the same. So thank you for watching this video. If you would just please, it really helps us out if you would just leave a comment below for the YouTube algorithm, like, subscribe, do all the stuff that all the all the people on YouTube ask you to do. You know the drill. So we'll yep, see you next all time. All the hate mail that you normally <laughs> send me uh, via the mail, please just leave below. <laughs> see you guys next time.